All righty. We are joined now by 2023 Annika, driven by Gamebridge at Pelican champion Lilia Vu and Annika herself. Start with Lilia. Just you had to chase a little bit coming into the day. What was the mindset entering your round? And if there was one, what was the shift in mindset once you kind of took the lead? Um, I think usually when I go into a Sunday, I feel like I haven't won the tournament yet. So, I mean, there's really nothing to lose. And I was just going to go out there and try and make a bunch of birdies. But today was a little harder. So I just try to do the best with what I had. And then for Annika, for, uh, for Lilia to, to be an Annika alum and to win in your first year uh, as namesake of this uh, tournament, just how special is that? Yeah, we could not have asked for a better ending and a better, you know, winner. Now it's the number one player in the world. Rolex ranking. So, you know, we're super pleased with the week. It's been fantastic in so many ways. I mean, I just, I could just, you know, thank Gamebridge for the sponsorships and obviously the, the Pelican Golf Club for the membership and the Doral family. And it's just been, I'm super proud we sit here and it's just been such a fantastic week and golf course, et cetera. So great start to the tournament. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, we're going to continue on this set, setting the standard here and just moving up from here. Lilia, you said earlier this week that it would be a dream for the end of this dream season to win here. So just how special is it? Yeah, I can't even put into words. I mean, I think I didn't really expect this to happen. I think I just wanted to have a good week going into CME next week and just try to be in contention. And then it turned out the way it did. I'm going to throw a stat at both of you. Lilia, you became the first player since 2005 to win two major championships and compete in the Solheim Cup. I'm going to let you guess who did that in 2005. Miss Annika right here. Just so how <laughs> special is it to kind of share that connection then to win in her namesake event? Oh my gosh, it's so special. I mean, Annika's done so much for women's golf. I mean, every single level of golf, junior golf, the Annika Junior, and then the Annika Award in college. I was really bummed out when I didn't get that when I played in college. So I'm finally <laughs> super excited to win something with your name on it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and open it up. Tight out there today on that back nine. What, what do you feel in the end kind of separated you from the from the rest? I think uh, the wheels were kind of falling off early in the back nine, and my caddy had said to me, hey, it doesn't matter where you hit it on the green. You can make a putt from anywhere. And I think that really flipped my mindset. I was getting really negative and then just flipped a switch there and then just thought positive thoughts, and then it just all worked itself out. And, and as you look year over year and look at what a phenomenal year you've had this year, what, what do you feel is the biggest difference? It's mindset. I think it's just all been mindset for me. I don't really, I'm not a technical player. I just try and play the course the way it's given to me and then just go from there. Hi, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. How, how are you a different player closing the deal on Sunday now than rewinding to to? the beginning of the year, I guess. What have you learned about the back nine on Sunday? Just playing one shot at a time, not getting ahead of yourself. It's not over until the 18th hole. So just play every shot the way you intend it. it the next shot could be the best shot you ever hit. And that's like a mindset that I think about all the time. So I think that helps with just calming the nerves and just doing what's in front of me and being where my feet are. Did you go to Texas Roadhouse last night? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be back? Maybe not tonight, <laughs> but yeah. But steak is Wind on the brought menu. to you by Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> but steak tonight? Probably, yeah. most likely. <laughs> Annika, you ch achieved everything in this game. It seems like possible to have this event, to be in this situation, to have the first one down. <laughs> what is that? Uh, where does that rank, I guess, in the list of your achievements? Yeah, no, man, this is a, a dream come true in a, in a different chapter in my life. It just. Um, you know, it's still a little bit surreal to see my name, you know, on the tournament, on the signage. I mean, it's been everywhere, and uh, but I'm very thankful for that. And, you know, my passion to give back to the game has not um, got any less or any smaller. I'm, I love giving back to the game. I love hanging out with some of the juniors, especially the ones that were here yesterday, the ones that are a little younger than us. But then to see where they're going after that, like somebody like Lilia Vu and whoever's up there, it's just fun to see that there's so many possibilities. And, you know, we're, I think women's golf has come a long way, but I still think that there's more to go and more to do. And so if we can help out, it's just, it, you know, it just warms my heart to see, you know, if they're getting a chance to live their dream like I'm living my dream. I mean, I think, you know, just like yourself and some other people that, that are here this week and just, you know, putting ladies golf on the map. And I mean, I think, Jeremy, are you still here? Jeremy Friedman, thank you. 
<laughs> I want to say thank you. He's worked so hard for this tournament to just give the tournament the exposure and the publicity that it needs. And um, so I'm hoping that this tournament is going to grow and grow. But yeah, I, I'm proud. Um, but it um, doesn't mean that we're settled. I mean, you know us. We keep going. We keep going forward and higher and better, hopefully. And somebody that's also kept going this year. Lilia, how have you, I know obviously learned to win on the Epson Tour. I think that was a big thing for you. But out here, learning to win, how, I mean, how, what did maybe you learn earlier this season where you can get to this point now where you're trailing and you can put the pedal down and go win a golf tournament? I think just, I mean, as I said before, just playing one shot at a time. Like some people play really well the first day and then I try not to focus too hard on that. I just say like, hey, if we get better every single day, then that's all I can do and that's the best I can do. Annika, you, you've been everywhere this week. I mean, you're <laughs> doing all the radio and television and, and everything. Yeah. Did you get to see any golf? Um, I try to, yeah. I've been watching the highlights uh, when I get back and finally put my feet up. Um, but, I, you know, I want to take this role seriously, and I'm proud to be here. It's been fun whether, like you said, I mean, I was here Monday. We did some things, and then Tuesday we did some more things. We had the Women's Summit, and then I played in the Pro-Am. And, and, yeah, it's been a lot, of, a lot of things. I think I was more active this week than I have maybe when I play because I'm kind of everywhere, like, you know, talking to the partners, to the volunteers, and just – kind of get a good feel for the whole tournament. So, yeah, it's been great. I think, you know, we, we're driving back to Orlando tonight. I'm sure I'll, I'll take a snooze on the way. So, um, yeah, but it's going to be sweet dreams for sure. And when we spoke earlier in the week, you said you were going to be making lists. Um, <laughs> how long is the list now? Uh, actually, not as long. Um, I think it's been really successful. Um, I do have my feelers out there with some players. I'm waiting to hear from them to really – you know, get a feel for what they think. I think we talked about that on, in the press conference. I want to hear what they, how they experience it, how they feel, whether it's the parking or the food or the practice. And because I think in the end of the day, we, I mean, we want to create an amazing tournament and, and we want the players and the partners to feel good about it. And the best way to improve is to hear from them. What do they like to see? But I've spoken to several members and they love it. So that's a good start. That means we can continue to be here and we can hopefully continue to provide an amazing experience. And Lily, how would you assess the tournament, other than winning, obviously, in terms of all the things on it you could just mention? Yeah, I mean, this tournament's been world class from the golf course to the members, the fans, volunteers. Just the whole setup has been a phenomenal, and I feel like it's been really great. Lilia, the conversation that you had with your caddy, um, what, where did that take place, coming off what hole? Or? That was the 13th hole. And what kind of gave you the impression, because I don't, I don't think you'd made a bogey, or you just made a bogey. At, I at made the, a bogey on 12. 12, okay. I missed a little four-footer, and then I teed off on 13. I missed it my drive. I was 40 yards behind everyone, and then didn't like my approach shot on, and I was a little soggy diapers about that, and he definitely knew, and he hates it when I get like that, but he said the right things, and then it worked out. So it was just kind of, it was a kind of that two-hole stretch, or did you kind of feel something coming on I felt just like a slow decline and then it was just a flip of a switch of positive mindset and then we went from there how much more difficult was the course out there today there were no 61s or 62s uh, I think you had the second best round out there how much more difficult was it oh a lot more difficult today I think I didn't realize that I think that's why I was getting a little upset because yeah it definitely wasn't easy out there and you could tell with the pin placements, like on 17, that was a little dicey, just kind of tucked over the bunker. And then all of us had a long downhill putt that just went forever. So, yeah, the pins were difficult. Conditions were difficult with the wind and everything. Do you pay much attention? Obviously, you've got your playing partners on a Sunday right next to you. But Aza played well. Um, uh Allison played well. Were you aware of, of uh, them at least coming into range? Um, I looked at the leaderboard for maybe a couple minutes, but I'm not like scared of looking at it either. I don't let it control me, but I knew where I was at, but I knew I had to do things on each hole and like with my goals trying to birdie every hole. So I just kind of st stuck to my guns. I like I had the same caddy by her side for, for a very long time. It was an integral part of her career. How, how important has your caddy been to you this year? Oh, huge. I think we just found the formula that works. I, he says the right thing when I get, 
things when I get in my own way. And I think we have a really good time out there. He knows my game really well. I mean, he kind of makes it easy for me. If I hit it 85% of like where he tells me to, it usually works out. <laughs> How long have you guys been together? Since Portland last year. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just one more for me. Obviously winning two majors this year, I know it's hard to rank your wins. Where does this one rank for you? I think second best. I think just after the Open. Yeah, I mean, I think this one, I've thought about it a lot. I think I want more wins in America, and then to add this one to my just, you know, results have been really great. And to be Annika's event is just amazing. Anyone else? Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats.